So we're going to take a look at AWS Lambda here uh, and see how to run a Lambda function. So what I want you to do is go to the top here to services and just type in a Lambda and we'll make our way over to the Lambda console. And uh, once we're in here, I want you to go ahead and create a new function. And we are going to author one from scratch. So I'm just going to say my Lambda. Okay. And we have a bunch of different runtimes that we can choose here. We have Node.js, et cetera. I'm going to choose Ruby because that's uh, my language of choice. Uh, we're going to drop down here um, and we are going to have it create us a new role with basic Lambda permissions so that it can write to CloudWatch logs. And we're going to go ahead and create that function. Okay, great. So that function has now been uh, set up here for us. And if we just scroll down here, you can see that we have this nice little inline editor uh, that allows us to um, uh, work on our function. Okay. And so the big benefit of Lambda, it's uh, you don't have to worry about the, the servers. You just write your code and it will run. Uh, the trade-off here is though that these uh, only run for a small amount of time. So Lambda can only run uh, for up to 15 minutes, but generally they, they only run for um, one second or less. Um, that's generally how they're used. Let's go ahead here and let's just put a puts in here so I can just say hello world, uh, just so we can see that our Lambda works. And uh, what we can do here is we can go up and uh, make a test. So I'm just gonna go ahead here and make a test. And we already have one here called hello world. Um, and I'm just gonna type this in again, hello world um, here. Oh, maybe I have to do this. And I'm just gonna hit create there. And so now I have a test and I'm just going to go ahead and hit test there. And we can see that it succeeded um, and we get a status code. So this is what it would returned. And if we were to go um, check the logging here, um, if we were to go to monitoring here, all right. Um, we should be able to see that, that puts that we have there, okay? So we just click on this button here, view logs in CloudWatch. And we can see that Lambda ran there. Um, and you know, I don't, the reason I don't have any output here is I forgot to hit save. They're really finicky about that. And now if I hit test, okay, it's worked. Uh, and now the output here actually has hello world. Okay, so that's from the logs. But if I go back here and give this a hard refresh here, okay, I might have to go back one step here because now it's in this one up here. And um, we should have our, our puts. Uh, did I click the right one? Maybe it just has, oh, there it is. Okay, so I was just impatient here, but it's shown up. So there you go. So um, you can see lambdas are pretty darn simple. Um, and just going back here up to the function, uh, lambdas get triggered from a variety of different services. So if you want to add a, a trigger, you can go here and drop down and choose a service. So you could have it so anytime something is inserted into DynamoDB, um, it would then trigger that Lambda function or from a variety of things, okay? And there's even integration with uh, um, third-party um, third uh, Amazon partners, okay? So yeah, that's all we need to know for Lambda.